I want to bring in now uh, from the Bonson Group, their managing partner, also author of There Is No Free Lunch, David Bonson. And David, I always get in trouble with my conservative friends when I kind of bristle at the, the, the amount of trading we do with China. You know, they say, well, you're not a free marketer kind of guy. But I just we're, we're, we've sent so much money over there for like in return for plastic stuff. And they're and, and then they're using that money to try to usurp who we are. If it was a fair competition, you know, that would be one thing. But it really isn't. And I just wish we did more here at home. I wish we had more factories at home. I wish we had more investment here at home. Uh, and, and, you know, so that's where uh, me and my friends, my court, uh, real orthodox, conservative or, or, orthodox friends, uh, we, we always have butt heads. Yeah, I think that I'm a big fan of the law of comparative advantage as well. Uh, the difference that you bring up is the cultural changes that have come about by us becoming so dependent on on China's rise. And I think we've vastly underestimated a lot of the cultural implications, the ethical side, and then, of course, the dependency from a national security standpoint is an entirely yeah. different uh, ball of wax. We're, we've learned a lot. I still believe that um, companies need to negotiate their own terms of engagement, but I think they need to do so morally, and we need to have a society-wide plan for how we're going to maintain <coughs> Western... Let's dominance. talk about your book, uh, because because you've got, speaking of some of the titans of, of conservative economic orthodoxy, you've gone, you've, you've gotten a lot of their quotes, 200, just the name, right? There's no free lunch. Of course, we'll have one on the screen. 250 economic truths. And so I, what I love about it, you put in these quotes, some of them I knew, a lot of them I didn't know. And then you add your own sort of uh, thoughts about it. And there were three that stood out. Of, listen, I could talk to you all day about it, but let me just ask you about this one. It's not from the benevolence of the butcher, the brewer, or the baker that we expect our dinner, but from their regard to their own self-interest. We address ourselves not to their humanity, but to their self-love and never talk to them about our own necessities, but of their advantages, Adam Smith. It, this is sort of the core, right, of uh, capitalism uh, and sort of also the notion, because you see the rise of socialism in this country, at least the romanticizing of it during periods of prosperity, more than I think than not prosperity. That, isn't that why this is an important quote in part? I, I think it's important because it, it captures how society really works. And his point was that we're not thinking about it. Now, by the way, the butcher, the baker cares about his customer. If he doesn't, he's probably going to go out of business. He's meeting a human need. But what I like to call enlightened self-interest is self-interest. You and I go to work. We want to provide for our family. We're thinking about better education for our kids and so forth. But we also think about delivering a better good Right. service to those getting it, right. and we want to do so with a morality and enlightened self-interest. They gave me the rap sign while you were doing, but I'm going to squeeze one more in. Okay. they got to be upset at me. A society that puts equality before freedom will get neither. Yeah. Milton Friedman. Milton Friedman is the master, and I quote him a lot in the book, but you can't have a sustained free enterprise system that isn't rooted in freedom. You need a free society in order to get the economic prosperity. Then you get a virtuous cycle. These things feed on each other. We don't have time to go into details, but I will share this with the audience. Under capitalism, man oppresses man, but under socialism, it's the other way around. <laughs> Russ Roberts. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on another bestseller. We'll talk to you again real Thanks, soon. Guys.